What? Hello, new package, I've been waiting for this for uh, many weeks, took forever, it was all the way from uh, the US, takes forever to get to Norway, costs too much to import or whatever, um, I'm very excited for this, been wanting one of these for a while. Let's have a look. <clears throat> there we go. Retro Tank 2X Pro San Diego. Nice. Congratulations, you know. Own a RetroThink 2X Pro, a zero lag upscaler for your retro console. To get started, simply plug in the USB cord, video cables, and power up your console. Press the input button until you get a color image. Make sure the mode switch is set to Line 2X and that the comp switch is set to Retro. Nice. <coughs> I think this is supposed to have a. Uh, firmware upgrade before I use it though, not sure. Sticker, that's nice. Oh, did I order this? Maybe I did. I think this was like uh, an uh, accessory option. It's, the, it's supposed to be the Nintendo 64, isn't it? S video cable? think so so that's good for my N64 <clears throat> that's a nice uh, braided USB micro USB cable that's good included oh fancy Retro Think 2X. So hard to say Retro Think and not Retro Think. Retro Think 2X Pro. It's nice. Comb, Retro, Auto, Mode, Line 2X, Pass. Input filter, micro USB power, HDMI output, S video input, and yeah, these other ones audio and uh, the other video, video signals. That is pretty sweet. Nice. So I have my retro tink laying here. And um, I want to do some comparisons between my old cheap capture device and the Retro Think through a cam link, Elgato cam link 4K. Before we do that, I just want to update my my Retro Think because the documentation said that the device always comes with like version one and that you have to update it to the latest version. So let's just uh, do that. Let's have a look at how how to proceed. So I already downloaded the FTDI drivers. I already had them. Um, and I also downloaded the RetroTink firmware update tool, which I have installed. I also downloaded the newest version as a hex file. So what we need to do now is plug your device into your computer's USB port while holding down the input button. The LED should be red indicating, indicating update mode. Let's see. 
So the input button is this one. So I'll just hold that down and plug in the USB power. I don't see any red light. Oh wait, let's try that again. Holding it down, play it in. There is a red light. A red and a green light. Okay, so let's uh, try the update then. So we have the tool, tool ready. Guess we'll just uh, press flash. There we go. Nice. Nothing happening on the on the retro think um, other than that it uh, rebooted I think when it was done. It's just uh, green and, and yellow now. I'll hook up my C64 and we'll do some uh, comparisons. So this is the cheap Plex Gear capture device. It's also using S video. This is like one of those cheap devices that's intended on like capturing home video footage and stuff like that. From old VHS tapes and stuff. So this is captured footage through the Plex Gear device. And um, it doesn't look too bad, but when, when the video starts scrolling, you can see the interlacing effects and uh, it doesn't look good at all. The text looks kind of sharp, but I even think I may have had like a sharpness filter uh, applied on the, on the settings on the capture card. I'm not sure, but it's not crisp like it's supposed to be. Okay, I have my C64 hooked up to the RetroThink. I'm using an S-Video cable from the C64, so we should get the, the best possible picture out of the C64. The RetroThink is connected to my Elgato cam link. Let's see how it looks. This is the captured footage from the RetroThink through my Elgato cam link 4K, and this looks so much better. Uh, it just looks more natural and the colors look uh, correct. I'm very happy with this result and uh, RetroTink is definitely doing uh, what it's supposed to do. Even on my bad video output C64. I'll add the two captures side by side in editing so you can see, uh, see how it looks side by side. Hopefully it should be clear on video, at least to me it's uh, night and day. I'll just put together a comparison montage for the rest of the video both on my C64 and, uh, and an S. Thank you for watching.